fortifying growth mindset from the Cultivating Abundance coloring book by Chetna Mehta. Be curious. I love being in the space of curiosity. It opens me up to wonder and awe, to inquisition, to dialogue, and maybe even understanding. It's an intentional practice because it requires me to set aside the safety of wanting or pretending to know everything already. Highlight your progress even from days, months, or years ago. This reminds me that I am learning and shifting and adapting, and that while progress may feel sometimes rather slow or stagnant, it's happening here and now, and has been happening. This can feel a lot more motivating than just focusing on where I want to go. Recognize when the lens of negativity bias is blocking your sight. This can also be known as fixed mindset, validating and dejecting. Remember your sense of purpose. I often ask these questions when I get derailed with a fixed mindset or expectations of where I should be. Why are you doing what you're doing anyway? Why is it important to you and our highest good? Find presence, even pleasure in the process. I love referencing art making as a prime example and microcosmic experience of practicing pleasure in the process. I find pleasure when I create art for myself first before anyone else. I honor the space that I need to both show up for the process and from the process to let it marinate and for ideas to unfold. In this way, art making feels abundant. Recognize and affirm that you're always growing. Govinda, a character from a favorite book by Herman Hesse called Siddhartha, said, the path spirals upwards. By living, and to me seeking, reflecting, loving, connecting, forgiving, and learning, we are evolving and moving upward. The path spirals and sometimes it'll feel like we're returning or regressing to the same place. We are not. We are growing and ever unfolding. 